You better watch out, UNSC Marines, because the Covenant are here. Or maybe the Storm Covenant? I'm not exactly sure. Let's have a look. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Part two of my Halo Customizer Pack reviews. And boy, is it just good to be sat back in front of a camera doing reviews again. It has honestly been a long time due to a lack of set releases and also working on other projects. But here we are, unboxing as we were always meant to do. Do, the Covenant Armor Customizer Pack. Now I know that the Halo 4, 5 Elite design is not everyone's favorite. <laughs> Most things from those games are not everyone's favorite, but I have always liked my Stormy Boys, my Storm Covenant. Yeah, we've got a lot to unpack here. And also this is not a set that I'm keeping for myself. This has already been given away to a lucky winner of our last competition. Our Victor the Grunt meme competition. The winner is getting this set, but I asked in advance if I could open it before before I sent it. And of course he was very happy with me being able to do a review before sending it over because everybody in this community is just amazing. So here we've got our elites. Let's pop the first two out. Whoa, one shot straight off. They're all very excited to get off the table. All right, we've got an elite ranger in silver and an elite zealot in purple. Looking fantastic. I'm always a big fan of when Mega Constructs does metallic visors. They just pop in these figures so nicely and they've really done a number on this one today. It's awesome. If we remove the helmet, we can see there is an enormous helmet. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, why is that? Why is that head so... Oh my gosh, that hole is so massive. Has that always been the case? No. Oh, really? Did the did the holes always used to be that big? All right, we've got the Elite Ultra. This is from Infinite Series. Oh, yes, yeah, there we go. See, this Elite is from Mega Constructs Halo Heroes, Halo Infinite Edition. <laughs> and I only had it here today to add the extra armor pieces to. But goodness me, I didn't even realize I was stumbling upon this. That hole is enormous. You can even see where the plastic is like wearing. That is, that is savage. I don't even know what kind of needle round could do that kind of damage to a head. But uh, I think I'll pop that straight back on. I don't want to look at that any longer. Jeez. All right, we've got the Elite Ranger and the Elite Zealot. Then let's just get all of these out. We've got a concussion rifle and also an energy sword and then all of these armors. I hope you guys are happy to see that I'm back to, <laughs> back to not being able to talk over this plastic. Wow, Mega Constructs did not want anyone stealing this. The carnage is over, everybody. We can relax again. Okay, I'm noticing that the concussion rifle seems to be missing its drum. It might be here somewhere, but at the same time, I've gone through such a lot of moving around. Like this set has been packed into many different boxes before, especially when moving to Hong Kong. So maybe, oh, or maybe it's in here. Maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, there it is, there it is. I love when these weapons have a movable option to them. That is fantastic. And whoa, we got a lot to unpackage here. So definitely there are not enough weapons to equip all of these elites. I don't think Mega Constructs necessarily wants you to buy a load of extra figures to add these armors to, but at the same time, usually the seasonal releases match the colors of these armor packs. For example, the new Marine Customizer Pack, you can definitely just buy normal Infinite Blind Bag Marines and add the shoulders and other accessories to them. So today, we've got enough to put together four more Elites, two Silver and two Purple, and to do that, we've got two Halo Heroes Elite Ultras. We'll strip these down, and we've also got two two Elite Rangers to strip down. These come from the four pack Elite Rangers versus Spartans. So let's discard all of these armors and see what we can build. Smooth transition. We've got a bunch of naked elites. <laughs> We're gonna dress them up. <laughs> dress up elites. What a nice children's game. All right, so first of all, we've got a basic Storm Elite. Oh no. Oh no, why didn't I see this coming? Why didn't I see this coming? Oh no. We obviously can't because the hole is not big enough. Well, well, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, I actually didn't see that one coming. Wow. You know, we need to find some better elite heads here. All right, guys, I was able to find four elite heads, but because I live in Hong Kong and my whole collection's not here, particularly all my old collection, the price was costly, including two arbiters. That's what we had to pay. The price was high, but we got our four elite heads. Of course, I'm going to swap them straight out after this review, but I really wanted to make sure you guys could see the full effect of this armory pack. It's pretty crazy that 
I didn't realize the head size had changed. Maybe I was just ignorant to it. Maybe I just wanted to move on. Like, I think I remember back in the day when I first got hold of these new elites that I was pretty shocked by the size of the hole in their head. I still am really. I feel like Mega Construct should really try and move away from the holes. It just, uh, it takes away from the figure a little bit. And the same as my Marines, I would like to have a lot of elites unmasked, but then that hole in the head just, it, uh, it's too, it's too tragic for me. I guess I could fill the holes in with putty, but I really don't want to go down that route. They are two more elites and they are all three of our purples. We've got a ranger, elite miner and elite zealot. They look so good. I really have ended up liking the new shade of neck. I think that looks great. And it makes it look like they're wearing a full black jumpsuit underneath. All right, we've got our silver elites. And there is another elite miner and another elite zealot. It would have been cool if we'd got some extra armors in this, some varied armors, because they are just three of the same. To be fair, I don't know when this was released. Perhaps they hadn't even released any other elites yet. Maybe this was just the very beginning. But if they had released other elites, I would have definitely liked to see an arbiter in silver or purple. That would have been awesome. And we really are just in need of more elites in general. They've just added a ton of new elites to the MCC Season 7 update, so maybe it's time for Mega Constructs to revisit some old elites. There we go, guys. Six of my Sangheili brothers, and the last thing we've got is these two very, very basic base plates, which I guess tells you how old this set is. A couple of these little caps. I imagine these just, yep, go straight on the top of these crates. One and two. I'll always welcome more crates, and for the price for the low low price this is fantastic you can still find this in some dollar general stores so they are going out of stock so you better check right now this is part two of my customizer pack reviews i unboxed this marine customizer pack just the other day so you should definitely check out that video as well but let me know in the comments down below guys have you been able to score this set would you have liked it to have some more armors i definitely would have and maybe they could have alternated a few more different colors i know back in the day when they first started new articulation mega constructs really didn't have many alternating colors on the armors no real printed detail and i don't really expect printed detail on such a cheap set but i would have liked to see some other armors as well thank you very much for tuning in today guys please do like this video if you enjoy what you see check out all my social medias i got discord instagram twitter we have a riot on all of those stay awesome out there stay safe and the elites are signing off <laughs>